With only seven days left for Alchemy of Souls Season 2, Light and Shadow, TVN just released the first episode's preview. Whoosh! The images in the preview surprised us. We could see some dark, shadowy flying images. They were flying around a sitting Jang Wook, who looked dazed and unbothered by these images. We also get to see a different looking Master Li with the wisdom behind his eyes. Alchemy of Souls has garnered massive followership because of its larger-than-life tale, the use of various elements of drama, and of course, the excellent writing skills of the Hong sisters and the incredible acting of the cast. The first season was a global hit despite its cliffhanger of a season finale. Finally, fans will be able to see their favorite characters and hopefully get answers to most burning questions left by the first season. Today, I'll talk about the newly released episode 1 preview for Alchemy of Souls Season 2, Light and Shadow. The newly released preview shows some dark, scary images that look like humans flying around Jang Wook. These images look threatening, but Jang Wook seems to be unbothered by them. It looks like their shadowy presence is a regular occurrence in his house, so he has gotten used to their presence. Now, the question is, what are these images? They look like evil souls seeking a body to possess. But why are they around Jang Wook, who is a soul shifter hunter? These images could be the souls that ran wild and petrified after using the soul ejector. And Jang Wook having the ice stone seems to be a magnet for them because of the energy of the ice stone. But they look evil and restless in this preview, so maybe, they are just tormenting Jang Wook seeking a way to get the ice stone in him so they can be able to possess a body and come back to life, or maybe they are the souls of the soul shifters he killed. Because later in the trailer, we see him standing in the woods and what seems like multiple grave sites in front of him. This could be where he now buries the soul shifters he kills instead of throwing them into the lake. Interestingly, this part of the woods looks like where he and Mutiok had their last encounter. Is this symbolic? Remember, when a person petrifies, the person becomes a stone and is thrown into Lake Jayankiandiaho. We don't know what becomes of their souls. Or the shadowy images could be the souls of those who failed when trying to perform the alchemy of souls and are now wandering around like lost souls. These evil-looking wandering souls could be why Jang Wook said that the power of the ice stone is difficult to withstand. This could be one of the consequences of having the ice stone in him. Remember, Bu Yun once told Mudiok that the ice stone seeks balance. You gain one, you lose one. But then, these are all theories, and we will likely find out on December 10th. What do you think of these dark images? Let me know in the comment down below. Then we see Park Jin talking to Jang Wook, asking him if he is alright. Here, Park Jean looks different and relaxed. It could be because he is no longer leading Sun Grim and now has more time. But he looks worried for Jang Wook here. The good thing is Jang Wook will still have him and maidservant Kim in his corner. Also, in the preview, we can see Master Lee talking to Go Won, he asks him to go to the dark and ominous place and cheer up and praise the sinister lunatic. The sinister lunatic he is talking about is Jang Wook because we see Go Won go to Jang Wook's dark place. Here, we wonder how bad the past three years must have been for Jang Wook for Master Li to advise Go Won to cheer and praise him. How lonely he must have been all these years with the wandering spirits. This could mean that the subtle relationship between Jang Wook and Go Won will continue in the upcoming season and Master Li will continue to look out for the King Star. This could also mean that Go Won will not be an enemy in the upcoming season because he had a good disposition when he met Jang Wook. But we don't know why Jang Wook had a sword to his throat in one of the trailers released by TVN. This could mean that after some years, Go Won, hearing of Jang Wook's darkness and ruthlessness, seeks a solution, meeting with Master Li who advises him to go to Jang Wook and cheer for him. 
It could be that the people of Daeho cast Jang Wook aside after his resurrection, calling him a monster. Jang Wook must have been lonely and maybe with no friends because Seo Yeol had gone back to his hometown, and Dang Gu could be busy leading Sun Grim, or he could be mad at Jang Wook for hiding that Mutiak was a soul shifter and because she killed Wu Tak. This is only speculation because we can also see him looking worried and concerned in the trailer. And we also hear Seo Yeol say that when Jang Wook and Dang Gu were going through a rough time, he was busy running away. So this might mean that Dang Gu is still stuck with his friend Jang Wook despite the changes in him. But the look on Seo Yeol's face as he says this calls for concern. He looks like he's been through so much in the past three years. And it seems he is still going through a tough time. Maybe, he left Sungrim because he couldn't deal with Nax's death for the second time. And the bloodworm in his blood might have taken a toll on him. In the preview, we can see Jang Wook fighting with a soul shifter that we had seen in the trailers. Then we see him sitting close to a heap of stones that looks like a grave site. With a lonely and sad look on his face. This could be where Mutiak was buried or where Jang Wook thinks she's buried. Maybe, the person that rescued Naksu from the bottom of the lake forged her death so people wouldn't look for her, perhaps to avoid repercussions for the killings in her past. Or to stop Jang Wook from looking for her. This could be why Jang Wook was surprised when he met her three years later. Then we see Naksu sitting in a place dressed in white as if she is waiting for someone. She then said she was a living sin. Then we see her standing close to a tree, staring ahead as if waiting for someone. Then we hear Jang Wook saying, as if in reply to Naksu, that an existing sin should not exist. His comment here is a bit confusing. We wonder if he is talking about the soul shifters in the village and why he is hunting them. Or is he referring to himself or Naksu? Maybe he feels compelled to kill her like the other soul shifters he hunts down. But he can't because he feels something for her, perhaps a connection. This could be one of the reasons he feels tormented because he doesn't know what to make of her. Remember that Jang Wook didn't see Nax's original body in the previous season. We wonder how he will be able to recognize her as his beloved. And because of Nax's amnesia, this will be a tough one for them but an interesting one for the viewers. What do you think? Let me know in the comment down below. Thanks for watching, bye.